Hi, I'm Debbie. Today I'm going to show you how to make some of the earrings that we have in our earring kit. We're going to today make our little square dangly or fishhook earrings, like these ones here. So what we're going to need to do this is our little square glass tiles that you find in the earring, earring kit that we supply or you can buy them um, individually and we need some images you can use larger images or we have these ones here especially in earring size I'm going to use those two um, some diamond glaze this diamond glaze is also available in larger bottles but this is what we supply in our kit and we have our findings here that we've already made up and put together with a bale and fish hook. Some scissors and some sandpaper just to smooth down our rough edges on the side of our glass tiles after we've done our gluing process. So let's just move those aside because we're not going to need them just yet and we're going to um, pop a little bit of diamond glaze on our images, just a wee drop. We're going to be very careful not to get bubbles in this, so just try not to shake the bottle around too much, just be very gentle with it. And just squeeze out a nice little drop that half covers that image size. Mine's got a, bit of, a few bubbles in, but that's okay we'll be able to get rid of those. So then take your, your little glass tile and just gently pop that on top, let it float on top of that image. And what we're going to do is just move it round and round there and that will work out, move away all those little bubbles. And just very gently press down as we're working it in that, into that diamond glaze and then just simply leave it, give it a nice little press to start that bonding process and leave it alone. Okay, the second one we'll do exactly the same with. We've got our diamond glow glaze there waiting. Just squeeze that little bubble out of there. Just give it a good move around on that, on that image. Make sure we've got it all centered and give it a good press to start that bonding process and then we simply leave them alone. Ideally if you can leave them overnight that's the best thing to do. Um, a good couple of hours at least you would want to do if you're making these during the day before we start cutting um, around these shapes and continuing on with creating our dangly earrings. So now we've allowed um, about two hours for the diamond glaze to set on our little dangly earring glass tiles here. So we're now going to um, cut those out, trim very, very neatly around the edges, and then we're going to pop some diamond glaze on the back to seal off this paper. So we take our scissors here and just very, very basically cut around the edges. Don't be too worried at the moment about trimming it off too much. So once you've got it down there, then go right round the sides. Make sure you go into the, um, the corners as well if you've got a rounded corner on your glass tile. You sort of angle the scissors down a little bit so that our paper actually ends up slightly smaller than our glass tile. Okay, there's one done. And now the second one. Side and 
now we're going to um, turn those over and we're going to put our diamond glaze on the back of these. We're just using our, our small beltle here which we, um, we have with our kits. Um, you may also like to buy a larger bottle which we also have available on our website. Now the trick to um, using our diamond glaze on the back of these is to form yourself a little frame with the diamond glaze right round the edge and then we'll fill in the middle. That's the easiest way to do it. You'll find that diamond glaze works on a capillary action so that it will stay on that surface um, unless you specifically allow it to run onto another surface. So we very, very carefully just start squeezing our bottle, starting in one corner. So we're going to have to hold this one. They tend to move around a little bit. Okay, now that's all filled up there and it's slowly working its way to that edge. There may be a couple of spots where we need to just gently coax it right to the very edge. Whoops, there's an air bubble there. We'll soon get rid of that. Just get a piece of one of our little cut off pieces here and just pop that bubble in the middle. Okay, so that's one of them will complete. Oh, there goes a bubble again. So just starting in one corner and working our way around trying to fill up the outside. It's a little bit difficult with these ones because they want to keep moving. And then fill up the middle and make sure that that diamond glaze is going right to the very edge without going right across. So there they are now all ready to, to be um, set at least for 12 hours I would want to leave those. Um, I usually leave mine for 48 hours just to make sure that when I'm handling it um, later on when I'm gluing on the bale that I don't end up with finger marks or fingernail marks in the in the glaze because it can be a little bit softer right to begin with. 